Hello, viewers. My name is Spencer Strato Musubanoi, by the name of Life Stealer Fifty Eight, and welcome back to Fun with Friends Two. In the previous episode, we went on a little bit of an adventure, killing mobs, getting string, getting bones, getting rotten flesh, all for better products and better buildings for the future, and better just like AFK fishing farm, for example. We want the bones for getting wolves and all that stuff. And now we're working on the next project, which is going to be extending the base up here. Uh, anyways, though, uh, let's grab this real quick and we're just gonna build straight ahead and as we're straight building straight ahead I'm gonna explain uh, some stuff so basically how this is gonna work is we are gonna extend the base here and then we're gonna extend the base to other trees and I know that sounds like well that's what you always do you know that doesn't sound any different well the thing that's different is this is gonna be a very opened up space and it's gonna branch out to this tree and then we're gonna have a bit more of unique stuff and the thing that's also gonna be really really different is generally all the buildings over there it's pretty straightforward like there are not a ton of houses and stuff and that's because that's a very stylish area you have a very beautiful view therefore I don't want people building here however you're on top of a mountain and and I don't really care if people build like over here, for example, as long as they're not blocking the edge. You're kind of like confined in this invisible wall almost. Therefore, you can uh, easily get uh, people building here and stuff. So it's going to look really nice and really cool. And uh, it's going to be a lot of building space, which will be nice for everyone, including myself, but mainly including you guys whenever you guys decide to build whatever you decide to build. Uh, let's just build all the way. I do want to stop at a tree though. Right at this tree here, I'm planning, please tell me I brought jungle leaves. I did, I brought plenty, uh, to build like an AFK fishing farm. And, uh, I'm not planning on actually recording that simply because I'm copying a YouTuber's build up or video build for block for block. Their YouTube, I'm block, ah, I can't speak. Let me start that over. <laughs> I'm copying their build block for block because it's from a YouTube video. It's from Skippy Six Gaming, if you guys have ever heard of him. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I just thought his was really efficient. It was very simple, very useful. And uh, the reason why I don't record that is I feel like it's stealing if I copy it block for block. If I'm coming up with a similar concept but it's better or it's my own version, then I don't really feel like uh, I'm stealing, you know? But if I don't or if I don't come up with my own version and just steal his, then that's just, that's basically just exactly what I said, stealing. It's not smart to do, it's not kind, it's absolutely disrespectful. Whether I had one subscriber or 10 million, it's wrong to take someone else's ideas or builds. So uh, that's why I'm building it off camera because I feel like a lot of YouTubers purposely use it with the intention of saying like, hey, you guys can build this in your own worlds. Uh, but and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just not gonna do it on camera. So yeah, if you're ex expecting like, oh boy, I can't wait to see how we we'll build an AFK fishing farm. Not gonna be me building it on camera at least. But yeah, I really want an AFK fishing farm because it's great for farming XP, but also just the loot. Like you can get enchantments, uh, enchanted books and stuff and uh, saddles and all that good stuff. So it'll be really nice to have. Um, but yeah, so let's just quickly, I, I, I hate doing this because I always struggle doing it. Oh, wait, uh, apparently I'm out of, wood okay let's do a few more like that okay let's just try and keep it consistent this is the hardest part is running backwards and clicking it because you'll see that like what i just did or I, i'll mistime it and a lot of you may be thinking hold it down but if you've played this game holding it down for some odd reason is not that consistent i don't know if it's just me or what but yeah it i tend to struggle but okay so we're at that tree right there so i'm gonna go hmm it's about two, three, four, about four blocks from the middle. So let's do one. Now that's too close. Let's do one here. Okay, so there will probably be a staircase here, up and up. And then we'll have the platform here like this. Uh, so let's go down here and this is where the AFK fishing farm is going to be. Like I said, I'm not going to build the fishing farm here, but I am going to build, I'm just trying to improve the tree a bit. I am going to build a, uh, build the walls and stuff like that. Um, all right. So, oh wait, that's wrong. Oh shoot. I messed that up big time. All right. So now we just build, where's the actual jungle wood? There we are. I'm just going to build jungle wood on every part of this, like this, go all the way around. And these will be the walls. We're just going to extend them with jungle wood. All right, so that looks correct. So this should be even. Let's see. Three, 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 three. That's correct. Okay, then right here, I believe, is the middle. That looks like the middle, right? Two on this side, two on this side. Oh, wait. Huh? 
What's... Oh. It's probably because there's not two on the edge there. Hmm. Do I want to change my build? Let's see. Let's just shear this real quick. Do I have shears? Please tell me I have... Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. I have silk touch. Okay. Wait. Wait, what? Okay, so the original tree is here. Got it. Okay. Like that. Okay, so the original tree is here, 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 and here. Good to know. So we're just going to line it up with the center here like this. Okay. And then we're just going to build a wall like this. Like that. And then we're just going to continue that. And then inside this wall thing, we are going to have uh, hoppers and chests. So anytime we catch a fish, they can go in the hoppers. Because the AFK fishing farm uh, is designed so you don't actually pick up the items yourself. It goes straight to a hopper every time, whatever you catch, whether it be a saddle, whether it be a fish, whether it be another fishing rod, stuff like that. So uh, that is what's going to be underneath here, as it's going to be basically more storage. Probably going to add like fences or something for uh, being able to look outside. But for now, we're just going to build the walls. I'm going to need more of this. Right, there we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait. That was too much. All right. And the reason why you need a lot is because if I decide to AFK for, I don't know, 12 hours and fish, all that stuff that we collect will not just sit in one hopper or one double chest. You know, I don't know how long. So it's better to be safe than sorry. If I, re if I start to realize, wait a minute, I'm not actually filling up all these chests then uh, maybe I'll change my mind. You know what? Will I be filling these chests? Maybe I don't need to make it this tall. Well, let's see. We you have, well, let's say we put the chest in the floor. You know what, this, I may regret this, but whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm taking it back. Sorry, cause like, I don't want this to be that tall. So we're just gonna mine these two real quick. My bad, I just, Cause I'm thinking, will I really get that much loot? You know, I, if I if I, I will build it this short, I can always extend it if I choose to, or build another one if I choose to. Cause these aren't that hard to build. It's actually a very simple build. So, sorry guys. Let me just quickly remove this. Should take me about probably like ten seconds more. Oh wait, oh wait, probably less than ten seconds. Okay, let's continue just with this height. All right, that will also give us more wood, which is always nice. So let's see. Chest, hopper, chest, hopper. Chest, hopper, chest, hopper. Okay. Yeah, that should be enough. We're gonna have to just wait and see. Alright, and then, uh, do this. Mine this one up here. <clears throat> like that. There we go. Okay, and do I have birch? Let's use birch for flooring, just as something different visually. Actually, if I want something different visually, I should have done acacia. Eh, acacia's kind of ugly, though. Okay, let's just fill this up. We need some torches. We need to light this place up. Uh, okay, just do this. Right on the edges. And we can just fill it up freely once we're done. Right, there we go. Go all the way. All right. And then this will be where the fishing thing is. I think this is a, going to allow enough space. There we go. Okay, so uh, like I said, I'm not going to build the fishing thing here right now. But, you know, you get the idea. Uh, right here, we'll have like a little ladder or something. Do I have ladders? Nope, we could use a crafting table though. Um, didn't mean to drop that. Let's put a crafting table right... Uh... Right here, I guess. Okay, and um, ladders. There you go, that should be more than enough. Go down here and just build up like that. And down here will be storage. Let's slide this up a bit. Let's do torches here, here. Uh, we'll not worry about that. Okay, then uh, we want, let's just, so we get some outdoor lighting. We'll put fence posts or something here. Actually, no, that won't work very well. Leave that closed. Leave that closed as well. Uh, well, now we kind of need this. So we're going to have to move the fence. 
Okay, uh, we can have a crafting table down here as well. No such thing as too many crafting tables. We'll put that in the, uh, not in the corner. Put that right there. And uh, so we have windows there. We'll have a ladder right here. This looks like a good ladder spot. Mind that. Like that. Get some birch. There we go. Uh, boom. Nope. There we go. And then let's make some jungle planks. We'll make some sticks. Uh, get rid of this. And then we're going to make some jungle wood fences. That way that will be used as windows. Fences are actually really nice for windows because they don't actually... Hmm, how do I want to do this? Because that looks a little funky. Let's extend it one. They work better than glass because it looks more realistic using the wood theme. Did I just toss out my axe? Why would I do that? Where's my axe? There it is. It just matches nicer because it matches with the theme. Like If you use glass, it's just going to look a little weird. That's all. Okay, so do this. Um, it's on the edge here like that. Let's mine this so we can get back in. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. Um, like that. Come over here. There we go. See, that looks a lot better in my opinion. We need torches in here though, that's for sure. Uh, let's do torches right there, right there, right there, and right there. Oh. Right there. And then we need to do the same thing on this side. Um, mind this. Oh, can't go down there. <laughs> I was about to just be like, okay, we can jump down here. <laughs> that would have been so sad because I'm pretty sure I would have died from there. So let's cautiously go over here, go up one. I feel like I might have not done this on the other side, but oh well. There we go. All right, let's go down. Why does this look so weird? Oh, that's why. Here, let's just check something. I think that looks okay. I think that's right. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, well, we're just going to go with it. If it's messed up, it's messed up. There's four on each side. That looks good. Go down here. There's a ladder. You have some nice flooring. I'm gonna close this up. Use the fence posts. Do I have fences? Oh, there they are. Um, not like that. There we are. Fence, so those will be used as windows. Although I really wanna get a nice view of the outside, but oh well. It's better than nothing. Hopefully this doesn't look completely ugly. And there we go. So there is that. So this will be where the fishing farm is. Um, so now, oh, I should have brought a bed. Alright, I'm gonna... Where's the moon? And the moon is setting in a few minutes. So now I'm gonna do something a bit different, a bit weird. Something that I've never actually done before in... Uh, did I bring the seeds with me? Yeah. Something that I've never actually done before in any of my uh, jungle worlds, that's for sure. But anything, period, actually. And I'm going to put dirt on the side here. Oh, this is going to be annoying to place. And then what I'm going to do is once I get seeds, I'm going to have wheat growing on the sides. Just because I think visually that look really cool and really interesting. And it gives you something different than just a normal wooden pathway. And right now it's going to look really ugly and really weird. But once we get the, all the seeds fully grown and stuff, it's going to look really nice. That looks kind of cool in my opinion with uh, how the wood is laid out and all. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording and if I'm still recording and see what just happened. I think we're still recording. I hope we are. That was really weird, but whatever. Anyways, uh, we're just going to go down to this edge here, right over here, like that. 
this uh, pathway may be adjusted. And we're going to do the same thing on this other side, but we're not going to build it as far just due to the fact that we don't have that many seeds just yet, so there's no point. But yeah, it looks really ugly, but I promise once we get the wheat growing on the sides and all, it will look much better. Uh, so why don't I make a hoe? Um, stone hoe. Actually, let me just go through this whole thing of dirt. Just, that way I can uh, easily, uh, you know, easily pick up the whatever I just made. There we go. Okay, cool. The sun's about to rise, which is nice. Where's the sunrise? It's over there. Setting. There you go. So I have a total of 14 seeds, which means we need to hoe 14 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Go like this. We're going to have to hoe one other piece because unfortunately got destroyed. Oh, two other pieces. So yeah, I know this looks so ugly, uh, but I promise you it's going to look way better once the wheat starts growing in fully, and it's going to definitely make it look more interesting, that's for sure. Takes up quite a bit of space, not going to lie, but again, it'll be worth it in the end. It's going to have to wait some time, so I'm going to have to constantly farm this so I can extend this, because I only have 14 seeds. I'm not doing a super hot on seeds right now. But yeah, you get the picture. Okay, um, so right here... I'm gonna build my quote unquote house. I've never had a house in CMA. Oh my gosh, I just said CMA. Oh, I've actually never had my own personal house in CMA 2 or CMA 1 or even an F. Wow, is that accurate? I've never had my own personal house in any of the worlds I created. That's actually really interesting to me because I always said, oh yeah, I just use the community house, but I've never actually had my own house. And to be honest, I don't really know if this will be my house. Uh, I usually just store my stuff in a storage room or whatever for any Minecraft world. But uh, I want to build a house over here next to this tree. And um, the reason why is because I want to actually build it using the tree as like the main core, like the main structure, the main foundation of it visually. And I want to give people an idea of like, hey, you can do this for your buildings as well. You don't need to just build it next to a pathway. I kind of hope it sparks people's interest and fascination so they can build their own version of my house, quote unquote. Um, and I'm kind of nervous because I'm not really good at, well, I personally don't think my strength is building houses and stuff. But I've only built a total out of, at least recording wise, two houses. Obviously, I built buildings that make kind of look like houses, but exclusively two houses or one house. This will be my second house ever building. I might have said two. But, um, wait, is this jungle? Oh, why did I do jungle wood? This is supposed to be oak. As I was fixing the oak, I just fell and lost almost all my health. I survived on half a heart. Thank goodness I did not die. That would have been a complete rage moment and uh, definitely a tragedy, to say the least. Let's try to get back up there. Oh, this is frustrating. Okay. Almost done filling up this. Wow, I would have lost my mind if I would have died. I would have been so sad. All right, let's just clean up this. Mine it all out, mine it all out. And then we just replace it with oak just because I want to keep the theme going. Anyways, I'm nervous about this house because I feel like this is going to be a really complex house to build since it's up in the air. I want to make sure the dimensions are all um, normal and all uh, perfect. So should be interesting. But I'm excited. I'm excited to build a house. It's been a while. And um, I'm hoping, like I said, I'm doing this with the main intention to hope that people will be like, oh, I should build my house like that instead of just building it next to Pathway. Obviously, it's fine to build it next to Pathway, but just saying, hey. So I think it would be cool to have these houses every once in a while on a tree. Because, for example, if you, if this, uh, let's, let's find a better example. Uh, this tree right here, for example, right there, like that could connect to that tree. That can connect to that tree. You could do a bridge from across and connect to one of those trees. But um, that's not a good building tree to build on. This tree is not going to be connected to anything because the only thing it can really connect to is that tree right there, unless you go downhill. This is a single lonely tree, which is what's going to be perfect for building homes. I think over there as well, that will be a perfect place to build a home similar to what I'm building, you know? So, uh, yeah, I just think it would be nice. That's all. How are our seeds doing? They've grown two or three have grown slightly. Not much. All right, let's just continue the dirt with our two just to fill it up. Okay. Progress. Progress has been made. 
and then if we go down here i really don't know what to do with this area part of me thinks it'd be kind of cool to go through here and go like go even deeper and then go there uh, i want to somehow maybe here connect it to uh down there that would be pretty cool if we could loop around like that but yeah anyways that's gonna wrap up this episode man i've been recording for a long time already and it feels like i've only been recording for five minutes i need to double check something but it definitely has been a normal episode length for me which is about like 18 minutes to 20 minutes but yeah anyways thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it next episode we are going to be working on this house right here which should be really interesting and really fun and yeah i'm really looking forward to it anyways i will see you Bye.